Here's the story of a morning school crew who were bringing all the news to us Boca. All of them had special skills, like their teacher, from morning news which thrills. It's the story of four team captains who were taking charge of leading TV pro. There were four girls working all together, yet they were not all alone. Till one day when they chose their teams together, that were decided on much more than a hundred. And now these teams must somehow work together. That's the way they all became West Boca Bunch. West Boca Bunch. West Boca Bunch. That's the way. Wait, where are you guys going? I still need to yeah, edit. we're done filming. No. Sydney. I'm Willow. Today at West Boca, course selection forms need to be completed and turned in by today, April 1st. Make sure to input five elective choices into SIS and rank them from 1st to 5th by today as well. Congratulations to three of the FBLA teams for placing at States this past weekend and advancing to Nationals. Excellent job. Congratulations to the Class of 2021 Valedictorian Adam Goldman and our Salutorian Shayna Cohn. In senior news, cap and gown portraits are now ready to view and purchase through Katie. Find the link to order in the principal's update. Graduation day is Tuesday, June 8th. Bright Futures is now available to students. Sign up today. Coming up at West Boca, today is the last day of our Spring Spirit Week. It is Elements Day and we hope you're all wearing these colors to represent your class element. Seniors, fire, wearing red and orange. Juniors, water, wearing blue. Sophomores, air, wearing white and gray. Freshmen, earth, wearing brown and green. Thanks for participating. Science National Honor Society is offering free tutoring sessions for a variety of science classes every Monday at lunch. The Google Classroom code is SN6ABZL. As you all know by now, Miss Whitaker's TV production class has their very own YouTube channel, which we would love for you to subscribe to. Here's a video that I created that celebrates what's right in the world. Whenever I get gloomy with the state of the world, I think about the arrivals gate at Heathrow Airport. General opinion is starting to make out that we live in a world of hatred and greed. But I don't see that. It seems to me that love is everywhere. Often it's not particularly dignified or newsworthy, but it's always there. Fathers and sons, mothers and daughters, husbands and wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, old friends. When the planes hit the Twin Towers, as far as I know, none of the phone calls from the people on board were messages of hate or revenge. They were all messages of love. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around.
weightlifting team participated in districts yesterday, Wednesday the 31st. Way to hustle, Bulls! Congratulations to the boys and girls teams on a record-setting day at the South Conference meet at Atlantic High School on Wednesday, March 24th. Good luck at the next meet today at Park Vista. Girls softball has a game against rival Olympic Heights tonight at 6.30. Good luck, Lady Bulls! Here's another amazing cinematic video by Jad for your viewing pleasure. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we confuse science with the real world. There is no school for the spring holiday tomorrow, so enjoy your day off, everyone. That's all we have for you today, Westboka.